Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a back to school clean with me. I'm gonna be starting a short little series here on my channel, just going through my entire house, decluttering again, organizing, deep cleaning, and just getting my house back in order before the school year starts. So I hope this video gives you lots of motivation. If you're new here to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Carrie, and here on my cleaning channel, I try to bring lots of real life cleaning every now and then. I would crack a few jokes, I will laugh some things off if I fumble my words, and I try to just make cleaning as fun as possible since it's not my favorite thing to do. Um, but that's why I also really love filming cleaning motivation because not only does it help motivate you, but it helps get me motivated as well. So if you're interested in sticking around for more cleaning motivation every week, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and make sure your notifications are on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. All right, so to start today's video off, I'm just going to do a little bit of tidying up. Some days I like to start with small messes first and then work my way up to cleaning the bigger messes. For some reason, it always gets me motivated when I have a super clean house. It makes me wanna clean other areas and declutter them as well. So I'm gonna start just by wiping off the kitchen island, cleaning the dining room, and then I'm gonna go outside and start cleaning out my car before it got too hot. My car was horrible. It was so bad. There were so many clothes, toys, trash piled up in there, and it desperately needed to be cleaned before the school year started. So as soon as I'm done wiping down the table, I'm going to head out there and get started on that. I'm laying down at the compartment. I see you in the wild Cause this time I will choose you Yeah I'll choose You know exactly how to look like this Holding in a bag full of goods and needs I need a night like this no So first thing I'm going to do is just gather up all the crap that's on the floorboard of my car Oh my gosh, it's crazy how much stuff you can accumulate in your vehicle we had like a whole week's worth of clothes in here and toys. <laughs> it's crazy. But I'm just going to, you know, shove everything in these book bags, any clothes, any toys that need to go inside. I threw in the laundry basket that I usually bring out when I'm cleaning up my car. It just helps, you know, carry everything in together. And then I'm going to obviously throw all the trash away. Now that I have all the toys and trash out of the car, I'm gonna go ahead and start vacuuming it out. And I am using a shop vac that we got from Walmart that I love. 
absolutely love it. It is the Heart brand. I'll have it linked below if you are interested in it, but it works great. We bought it, you know, shortly after my husband got his truck. It His truck doesn't fit in the car wash, and we used to go and just use the free vacuums there, but since now we both can't go, he got the shop vac to clean out his car or his truck, and I love using it too. It works really good. I feel like it works even better than the car wash vacuums because, you know, sometimes when you pull through those, then you always end up getting that one vacuum that doesn't have good suction power. <laughs> that always happens to me. So I prefer just to use my vacuum at home. I'm going to get the car all vacuumed out and then in just a little bit, I'm going to wipe it clean. I don't know where she came from. Kind of turn me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about. And I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. There's something about the way she laughs and the way she always dances when she thinks nobody sees. I wanted to quickly point out that since my car has all black interior, I feel like all the dirt and little, every little crumb shows up a lot more than it would if I had like a light gray interior or even a tan. But I will say that even though everything shows up, I love being able to vacuum out my car. And when it's vacuumed out, it looks brand new again. I really love that. And that's why I wanted to have all black interior, especially since I have young kids and you know there's lots of stains. So I'm very happy with it. If you have a black interior car, you know what I'm talking about. Every little crumb shows up and sometimes it can be a pain in the butt, but it is always rewarding when it's nice and clean. Oh, and I wanted to also say that in just a moment, I'm going to be vacuuming out the trunk of my car and somehow I thought that I hit the record button, but didn't. So I lost all the footage of me cleaning out my extremely messy trunk of my car. Okay, this is the only little clips that I have and I, I don't know what happened there. But this is the first time that I have seen the bottom of my trunk <laughs> in like over six months because I've had so many donation things in here and finally I got rid of all of it and I feel so much better to be able to open the trunk of my car and not be embarrassed if someone walks by. I tell him baby please don't go. I think you should stay with me. And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just want to tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe the car clean I'm just going to use some Sprayway glass cleaner to clean around the radio and then just use the microfiber cloth to just kind of pick up any of the dust that's on the dash or the console area. And this worked out great. Fast and you're sweating. You can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. said some awful words and i know that we both got hurt but i want to be with you i want to be with you we can't let this slip away you know that i want you to stay because i want to be with you i always love a good before and after so here's how the car looked before and this is what it looks like now and i also am going to run through the car wash really quick just to do a quick wash on my car and just a quick little light flashing warning right here
cutest thing I've ever seen. Why are you doing this? Now that my car is all cleaned out on the inside and washed, I'm gonna go ahead and clean behind my couch. This should be done way more than I do it, but you know, sometimes I just don't like to do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull the couch out. This thing is so darn heavy. It takes everything I have to pull this couch, but I got it moved even though I kind of wrinkled up the rug a little bit. Just enough to where I could vacuum behind there, mop, and then in just a little bit, I will be shampooing that rug as well. You have your doubts, I wanna be with you Don't you wanna be with me? Think about your night and day And I just want you here with me I wanna be with you You know it is the truth Don't run away, we can let this go to waste I don't want nobody else, else. Don't let this go to waste So after getting the floor vacuumed, I'm going to quickly just dust the baseboards. Also using my little stick vacuum. I will be sharing this soon in a video. I am working with a company with this new vacuum. I'm super excited about it because I have been loving it. Um, but I don't want to share too much information just yet. So please bear with me. This is my first um, vacuum sponsorship I've ever done in my life. So I am a little excited about it. And I also just wanted to test the product out a little bit longer to make sure that it was something I felt comfortable sharing with you guys and also, you know, being sponsored by a company. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I'm just going to suck up all these random spiders that are back here and all the dust bunnies because, yeah, we do get that kind of stuff around our house too. It's a normal home. I'm sure everybody has a few little house spiders. So if you don't, please let me know how you're keeping them away because we have tried everything and every single time I pull this couch out, there is some type of spider. I don't know why, but now I'm going to go ahead and take my Swiffer and these are these little Swiffer pads that I pick up at Dollar Tree. I love them. They work so good and they're washable so you can't beat it for a dollar and I'm just going to quickly Swiffer this area and then I will move on to I'll move the couch more now that no one's going in and out of the door and I'll get behind the other couch as well or the other side of the sectional. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right then I'm So I'm actually going to clean the window first. I forgot that I did this, but the window right here gets so dirty really fast because my dog Zoe likes to lay on the back of the couch and she will press her nose against the window and just stare out the window all day and it gets full of little nose prints. So I'm going to wipe that down using my favorite glass cleaner, the Sprayway Foaming f foaming Glass Cleaner. Why did why does it sound like I'm repeating myself so much today? <laughs> the foaming glass cleaner is what I'm using. And my window also drops in, which is super cool. Um, a subscriber of mine actually told me about this. I had no idea that my window did this. And it is a lifesaver. So I'm going to clean the inside and the outside of the window. Get that all done. And then I will work on the other part of the sectional.
right, so now I'm going to go ahead and shampoo this rug. I'm going to start with the areas that are covered by the couch first. That way I can get these done and then slide the couch back over it. Now I'm using the Hoover Smart Wash Pet Complete Shampooer. I've mentioned this in previous videos and I really, really love it. I do think that it could have a little bit more suction power. I feel like it doesn't get the carpet all the way clean, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't go deep enough into the carpet. It's almost like it doesn't have enough suction power to, you know, get it wet enough to soak it all the way to the bottom and then suck all that water and detergent back up through it. I could be wrong, but I just feel like it's only getting the top layer of the carpet clean. So if you have dog stains or if you have a child that's being potty trained, I don't think that the shampooer gets deep enough for that type of stuff. My dog had an accident not too long ago, and I tried using the shampooer multiple times, but it just wasn't getting deep enough into the rug. So before you run off and purchase it, I would just definitely keep that in mind that it's more of that top layer clean. But it does do a great job. You can literally see the difference when I run the shampooer over the carpet, how clean it does come. So it definitely works great. I'm not downing the product at all. I'm just saying that if you need like a deep, all the way down to the padding type of clean, you're definitely going to want something a little bit more heavy duty than this. With that being said though, I will say that the top layer of my rugs was disgusting. I can't even believe how nasty they were already. It just, it doesn't take long. I do have three dogs, two kids. We don't always take our shoes off like we're supposed to in your house. You know, everybody's different, but I'm just saying we try our best to keep a clean house and I, or at least I try and, and it always just blows my mind when I shampoo the rugs, how dirty the water is when I'm finished. I quickly wanted to mention a feature that I love about the shampooer is that it has dry mode to where you can turn it on dry mode and literally dry the carpet so that way it's not soaking wet. You know how sometimes when you shampoo things and they are so wet for a while you can't walk on it? This shampooer does a great job at sucking up all the water that it does put off and with that dry mode it also helps a ton. So that was great. We were able to put the couch back and I was able to walk around and finish up cleaning. Now that I have that knocked out of the way, I wanted to show you, um, this was in my daughter's bathroom. I had a shelf and a mirror behind the bathroom door and I wanted to get rid of it. So my mom came and got that. She's going to use that on her back porch. And then she also took a few other things that I was getting rid of, that rug, um, some perfume, a little bit of clothes and stuff like that. So I was just including a little bit of that footage here. Back. 
to finish off this video, I'm going to do a little bit of kitchen organizing. Um, this is my kitchen island, and I now use it for pots and pans and clearly other random things that I throw in there. So it was time to get this cleaned out and organized. So first off, I'm just going to take everything out, wipe it clean, and then only put the things back in there that I want to actually keep in the island. And I just want to use this for pots and pans only. So here's a quick reminder how it looked before and this is how it looks now so a lot more functional and looks a lot better too so then right to the right hand side of the stove I have all of my Tupperware stuff in this really tiny cabinet but once again it was super unorganized so I cleared it out I'm gonna wipe it down and only put the things in there that I want to keep Now the drawers right next to my dishwasher are catch-all drawers, just like every other drawer in my house. I feel like I accumulate things so fast and things get so unorganized, but at this point I've realized that, that is just normal. It's life. It happens to a lot of people. So nothing new here. I'm just going to wipe it out, put everything back in there that I want to keep in here, and try to organize it a little bit better. After I got all the silverware put away, I'm going to go ahead and load the dishwasher up from dinner and, you know, just kind of get the kitchen back in order again. I'm also going to scrub the sink out really good using some Barkeeper's Friend. Someone recommended that I use it and I wanted to try it out on the kitchen sink. I recently used it in my shower. I didn't film it, but I did use it in the shower and it turned out so, so clean. It worked really well, but... 
it burned my feet, you guys. Make sure that you are wearing protection when you're using it because it is harsh. Like, it says that it's not harsh. I read the bottle and I even looked it up online. But I have sensitive skin and I darn sure didn't think it would burn my feet. But I don't recommend standing in your shower barefoot using it at all. Definitely don't do that. Learn from my mistake. And I'm only sharing it because I feel like it's really important and I wish that someone would have told me <laughs> that it's a little harsh. But I didn't know and you live and learn. So anyway, learn from my mistake. But now I'm going to go ahead and rinse the sink out, get it nice and damp, and then sprinkle the barkeeper's friend on there. And I couldn't find my glove, so I just used any glove that I could find and a scrubber that wouldn't let my hand actually come in contact with the barkeeper's friend because like I said it's a little bit more on that harsh side um, but I'm just going to scrub out the sink rinse it out and once I rinsed it out I felt like it left a little bit of a white residue still so I just took some Dawn dish soap and scrubbed it out one more time who knows what you think about me and I know I shouldn't care I really tried my best, but I can make you happy. And I can't stop time for you. I don't know why we couldn't work this out. Because you know I tried the best I could. I don't know how or what I could have done better. Baby, I really tried the best I could. All right, so I just wanted to share with you a few of the things that I decided to get rid of and declutter. I will be doing more decluttering, but this is what I have right now at the moment. All right, so that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you in my next cleaning video. Bye, y'all.